If you want to get more customers and make more sales for your SaaS, e-commerce, or online business, you're going to want to pay attention. Because when it comes to growing your business and generating more sales and revenue, there are a few proven and very profitable strategies that I'm going to be sharing with you. Now, the bad news is if you want to make money online, you probably already know it's not as simple as just setting up a shop or whipping up an app in your bedroom or somehow magically discovering a pocket of unserved and incredibly affluent customers just looking for something to buy. But the good news is, well, it's not easy, it's definitely doable, especially with the right marketing strategies in place. So let me show you how it's done. All right, let's talk marketing. And there's no better place to start than with everybody's favorite subject, money specifically how to make more of it with your business. The first and one of the most important things to understand when it comes to making more sales and getting more customers is knowing the fact that not every single person who visits your website is going to convert. In fact, most people won't. The statistics show that anywhere from around one in a hundred people to just shy of four in a hundred people are going to convert depending on what market or industry that you're in. Let me run you through an example to show you what this might look like. Let's say you're selling something for $50 and you're paying $1 cost per click. Well, if our website converts at 1% or one in a hundred people, it's essentially going to cost us $100, 100 clicks at a dollar per click to make a $50 sale, meaning we're gonna lose $50 per sale. Clearly not a very sustainable business model, but if you're able to increase your website's conversion rate from 1% to 2%, well, now you're going to be able to hit that elusive break even mark. So you're essentially going to be able to spend money to acquire traffic at a break even cost. Still not great, so let's try and improve it a bit more. Let's say that you watch through the rest of the video and you apply some of the tips and strategies I'm going to be sharing and you manage to increase your conversion rate from 2% up to 4%. Well, now you can see that you're starting to become very, very profitable and you're going to be able to start paying for traffic to acquire sales at an above break even cost, essentially meaning that you're generating not only revenue, but also more importantly, profits for your business. But can you do even better? Of course. Let me show you how. First off, according to Jay Abraham, famous business consultant, there are only three ways to grow a business. The first of which is to increase the number of customers that you have. Makes sense, after all, more customers means more revenue. The second is to increase the average transaction size, essentially getting those more customers to spend more on each purchase. And the third way is to increase the frequency with which customers buy, essentially getting those more customers to not only spend more, but to also buy more often. Let me show you what this looks like from an online business perspective, whether we're talking about SaaS and software as a service, e-commerce, or basically any other kind of online business, the steps and the principles are pretty much the same. First, you always want to be trying to increase increase the amount of traffic you're getting to your website. Now, you could do this through organic methods and SEO and search engine optimization, social media content, anything like that, or paid traffic methods like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, basically all the ads. Just keep in mind, remembering my previous example there, how much you're paying in a cost per click and cost per acquisition, making sure that you're not spending $2 only to make one back, because that's bad math and bad business. Once that's done, you want to work to increase the conversion version rate of your page. After all, sending all of the traffic in the world isn't going to do you any good if nobody signs up or nobody buys. This is why you want to try to optimize the copywriting, maybe offer free trials, have better case studies and testimonials, essentially all the tips I'm going to be sharing with you in just a minute. The area that you want to focus on is something called CRO or conversion rate optimization. And it stands for pretty much exactly what it sounds like, optimizing the conversion rates and improving how many people convert on your site. Once that's done, it's time to try to increase the transaction size and the average amount that you're making from customers. This would mean having things like upsells and downsells and cross sells and all the cells. And then you'd want to focus on increasing retention rate and stick rate and minimizing churn and the amount of people that quit or leave early. You do this by A, obviously having a good product, a good service and making sure you're delivering on what you're selling. And then B, making sure that people actually love it by highlighting how they can use it. You see, one of the biggest mistakes most online business owners make, especially in SaaS, especially in e-commerce, is selling something without sufficient knowledge, without sufficient information being delivered to the customer 
customer on how to actually use it, how to enjoy it, how to get the maximum benefit from what it is that they've just bought. When you fail to do this, when you fail to highlight how to actually go and incorporate this into their lives, well, they just don't know what to do. So they are unsatisfied. They leave early, they quit, they refund, they return, whatever it is, because they simply fail to see the true value in what it is that you're doing. Okay, now let me share with you some specifics on how to actually make this happen. But first, a big thank you to this video's sponsor, Cinder. Cinder is an easy online accounting software for e-commerce and SaaS businesses. What makes it so great is that Cinder automatically records all sales and merchant fees. And it does this across multiple channels, whether you're selling on Amazon or Shopify or eBay or Etsy or many more. And it does it in real time directly into the accounting system. It integrates quickly with Stripe and QuickBooks and allows you to track all of your sales and products and inventory across sales channels, as well as offering recurring and one-time invoices so you can get paid in seconds. You can sign up for a free trial with Cinder and get 20% off a yearly subscription by using the link I've got pasted in the description box below. All right, now let me share with you some specifics. We're gonna start with copywriting. One of the most important and valuable things you can do for your business is to invest the time, the money, and the energy in really, really good copywriting. Copywriting is essentially all of the words, all of the descriptions, all of the headlines and subheadlines, and everything that goes into communicating the value of what it is that you're selling to your prospects. What copywriting is, is sales done in print or on video. Whereas sales is one-to-one, -one, having a conversation, overcoming objections, finding out the fit and how your product or service would benefit the other person. Well, copywriting and the marketing behind it is doing all of that, but doing it with words or audio or video. You really wanna focus on the benefits more than the features. And if you've been in marketing for any length of time, I know you've heard that before, but that's because it's so incredibly important to emphasize the end state, the benefits, the outcome, the result that someone is going to get by doing business with you. Yes, features are still important. After all, they're going to give the benefits context, but one of the key words that I like to use here, key phrases rather, is so you can. This is a very easy hack to turn your features into benefits. Let me give you an example. One of my favorite pens is this Pigma Micron 2. It's a, an archival ink pen, which essentially means that the stuff that I write, the ink that I write with, it's not gonna disappear or fade over time, but rather it's gonna last a long time. Well, the fact that it's got this ink that's gonna last a really long time is really just a feature. But the benefit is that so I can write down my thoughts and preserve them for years, decades, maybe even generations to come. Another feature is of of course, the almighty pen lid. Really, it's just a feature. It's just a pen lid. But the benefit is, is that not only can I clip it if I had a, a pocket protector, but it also keeps me from getting ink all over the place when I store it in my pocket or just rolling around my desk. A feature of the feature are these nifty little holes in the end of a pen lid. And they're there for a very specific reason. It's actually so if you ever swallow a pen lid, you won't choke to death. Weird, hey? Anyway, if you're struggling for inspiration and for ideas, one of the best things you can do is to take a look at other websites, especially top performing SaaS or e-commerce websites, to try to see how their sites are structured and laid out, what kind of copy they use, and then of course, never steal it verbatim because obvious legal and ethical reasons, but rather use it to get inspiration and then apply your own creative ideas to it. For example, if you want to get some ideas for a SaaS business, you could look at a website like HubSpot. See how the website's designed, what the layout is, how the headlines look, what the call to action buttons are, and get creative inspiration from there. Not to mention HubSpot is just a really, really good company. So always good to learn from the best. Another example would be Adobe and looking at their creative cloud software. You could look at how it's structured. Again, the headlines, the subheadlines, the descriptions, and the call to action buttons. Another software site to take a look at is Slack. And what you'll notice from that website is the simplicity and how everything is essentially guiding you to that free trial as quickly as possible. For an e-commerce example, well, your options are pretty much unlimited, but a great place to start is Warby Parker's website. Again, check out the simplicity and see how they make their call to action, they make their offer immediately visible and very obvious. It's way more clear than it is creative and clarity works. All right, the next thing you wanna focus on is page speed. Not a whole lot to say here, pretty obvious, but the reality is is that fast sites sell, slow sites don't. I wish I could have made that rhyme. Fast sites sell, slow sites fail. 
Google backs this up with data showing that slow page load speeds lead directly to bounce rates. And bounce rates are bad if you want to actually convert because you want people to stick around rather than just hitting that back button. And the reality is they're not willing to wait a few seconds. Next tip to dramatically improve your conversion rates once those other factors have been taken into consideration is having better images. There is no excuse today to not have professional quality photography as well as videography on your site if it warrants it. You want to showcase your product, your service, whatever it is that you're selling in the best possible light. And the reality is, is that a picture does tell a thousand words, which is why it's so incredibly important to make sure that it looks good and that it provides the right brand, sort of aesthetic and message and design for your business. Next up is social proof. Probably no secret, no surprise here that testimonials, case studies, reviews, anything that shows how other people have used your product, used your service and enjoyed the experience, have gotten benefit from it. All of these are incredibly important and they dramatically increase conversion rates. As far as how many testimonials to have, the rule of thumb that I like to use is three very large testimonials, five medium sized testimonials or seven short testimonials. If you have more, that's fantastic, but maybe considering linking out to a separate testimonial page to avoid cluttering up your sales page. Another way to increase sales, attract more customers and make them feel safer, thereby increasing conversion rates is to use a trust mark or a shopping guarantee like something offered by BuySafe. In fact, studies show that a trust mark is one of the best ways to increase sales on your online site because 48% of people say they need to see one in order to feel safe and secure in handing over their payment information. All right, so with all that said, the next thing you're going to want to do is check out the video I have linked up right here, which is going to give you 13 killer e-commerce marketing tips. So make sure to check that out now and I'll see you in the next video. When in reality, it's just confusing people and confused people don't buy, they just leave. So where do you present the solution? Well, my friend, that's the next tip. Which